guys. Hope all is well. Chris just told me he can't do everything. I asked him to look up the uh, type of equipment we're going to, but since he's driving, he can't do two things at once. Two things at once, but everyone has their challenges in life. And just kidding. Anyway, what's going on? It's December eight, uh, December fifteenth, twenty twenty-three. It's Friday. It's awesome outside. Holidays are coming. Happy Hanukkah to anybody who celebrates. Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. I know it's all in the next week or two. Uh, anyway, let's see what it is. And that's that. Building four. Building four. These have to be either heat pumps or furnaces. These, I guarantee you they're furnaces. So. All right, let's see what it is. What's that? Uh, my my wife's the boss, but I'm I'll, I'll I can help you. How you doing? What's going on? I don't know. I was just saying, these guys what they're doing on my roof. Oh no no no! I don't work for the. I'm in heating and air conditioning. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. They're probably. What do you think they're doing? Shingles maybe? It's a brand new roof. I don't know why they're up there. They just do you you speak Spanish? Yeah. Say. Uh, Just say. Oh, okay. Sorry. Have a good holiday. You guys were asking about if I'm a roofer. Hello. Hello. Uh, what kind of system do you have? Furnace? Heat pump? Heat pump. Where's the outside unit? It's out here. So you gotta go around this way. To okay. The so it looks like recommended replacing the defrost. Well, yeah, once I heard it was frozen, I knew it was gonna be a defrost board or shit, but. Oh, they, they replaced it last year? Okay, so we'll check some other things. Oh, I was here last year. You had that nice, you had that nice air freshener that I loved, and I went yeah, out and that's bought. Right, that's right. Yeah, that's your daughter bought you. I love those things. Um, this is it. Um, this one was yours. Yeah. This okay. One. And back down, down back there, there's ice yesterday. Well, you're gonna see frost, okay. not ice. Oh, okay. Ice is the, so frost. This is what happens. It's gonna run for actual runtime, either 30, 60, or 90 minutes right. of runtime, of, and of course, it's pulling in cold, cold air. So you'll see a layer of frost, but then when it goes into defrost, it'll melt it. And, and is that why all the water was in That's there? why you yeah. get water, absolutely. But l we're gonna still start it and test it. Yeah, and there was like rattling. And then I see that one of these is off, so I thought, well, maybe that fell in, and that's why it's been rattling. I, and, I, and I've been like stalking everybody else, and theirs doesn't make that rattling noise. No, but what, when it goes into defrost, you'll think it's on fire. People think it's on fire because it's so actually it's like just, steam yeah, it's like yeah. almost steam. So, so Usually when it's outside someone's kitchen window, they're like, my thing's on fire. Well, I just thought it would be better to be safe than sorry. Absolutely. Because yeah, I'm so nervous. All right, thank you. Let's, um, right. will you, can yeah. Chris go in with you to turn on the, the Sure, sure, the heat? sure. Thank and you. And then I'll open this door? Any door you want. Uh, no, I mean, you can use the front door, but if you want, you can just If you will, yes, please. Thank you. No, that wasn't, and plus it was like 55 degrees yesterday. But uh, yeah, we put in a defrost board last year for this. This is rattling, she said. It could be these two. We'll, we'll hook it up for her. All right. 2013. Let me get my uh, tools. So let's see if it starts up, but the capacity, I just heard the compressor start and then it or tried to start, but let's see, it may just, because somebody cycled it on and off, so it may take a second. Let's see. See, listen, that, let me check this capacitor for you, okay? 
You got it. Crash. Crash. Sonic. Will you run and grab my meter, my bag, my meter? Thanks, cousin. That's a heat pump. Turned off a breaker that says condenser, but then there's another one that says heat. So let's take the meter and just check your incoming power right here. Just cause that's lot, it's painted shut. So I just want to check down here, L1, L2. Because on yesterday's video, it was going in and out. You can see there's one bar on it. So right there. Bottom. Good. No power. Beautiful. Okay. No, I haven't checked it. I needed to turn the power off inside because this is painted shut or rusted shut. I, I remember last year I had to do it. It's okay. So now we're going to test it. So, Chris, keep the meter on it. Put it on microfarads. Okay, I'm going to go in. Okay. All right. Hold on. This is a 30 slash 5. All right, I'm going to fucking pull it here. And then, that's fine. I think it's down. Got it. So common to Herm. Microfarads. Looking for 30. Nada? Nada. 24.85, and it's a 30. 24.85. Let's just change it. It's way below. Two and ones in my bag that oh you brought it you could have used it but they're still they're both this is a, this is an HVAC one it's nice yeah your sister's ass I haven't used capacitors in a couple of months just my double check China I'll put the boy in the box like David Blaine let the audience watch. Let's set for common for sure. You should know that. Yellow. Why is it yellow? It's exactly. So that you start there, and you know your fan is always the the prong with the least. Well, not always, but in this case it is. Or you could just follow wires, but Herm is going to be your blue. Which is your compressor. Hopefully she doesn't need a hard start. So let's go start this bad boy up. I mean, Mr. President, why do you keep saying these capacitors fail so often? Because they're from China. Just like Lyme's disease is from Connecticut. Where? Off the contactors so you don't blow fuses inside of the air handlers. Let's see how that works. Uh oh. I hear a compressor. There you go. 
Now we're gonna test defrost after it runs. Let it run a little while. I want to see how many set, how many minutes is set for. Anyway, we could always lower it for her. It's set for 30 minutes, uh, 60 minutes of runtime. We, we could set it for 30 for her. But let's first get some. You know, if you ever have this break in the summertime, because the heat pump. Not break, but if the defrost board goes bad, you could bypass it. You take this fan wire right here and bring it down to your contactor until you could order a new one. That's if this fan relay goes bad anyway. Where it says speed up, those two little pins. Yep. Be careful, you know, just hold, hold the screwdriver on both of them. You're gonna force defrost. Now let it go. And what that does is inside it kicks the auxiliary heat on so the customer doesn't feel air conditioning because this is actually going to melt the ice in the case that there's ice. And then this pipe will get cool because it's a reversing valve that sends the refrigerant the opposite way. If you saw water dripping, that's because it was doing its job. Yeah, see, feel this now. Well, no, because she's not over the kitchen window. But every single heat pump here does the same thing. Sounds like trash, though. Absolute trash. But, listen. It is what it is. 2013, and we have tonnage, ton and a half. Now, let's let it run. Let's get our gauges. I don't really like to hook up gauges um, if I don't need to. But let's do it anyway because she was saying something about ice. I just want to check. On the top of the air handler. I'm going to go make sure the auxiliary heat's on right there. There's got to be a light maybe on the outside. It's a laundry room. I'm sure there's a light here somewhere. Yeah, so there it is right there. I'll be right back. I'm going to go just turn the thermostat up. Hello, may I come up? Oh, it's understandable. I mean, it's your heat. Yeah. You need it. Yeah. Well, it, I wasn't even thinking because I keep it so cold in here. Um, I, actually, I was thinking it's so comfortable. <laughs> and then I looked at it at 78. I usually keep it at 68 or 66. Well, I'm just going to put it on hold for a minute. Right. I'm going to go to just check the amperages. You remember how it check heat strips? Huh? I know. Okay, you need a meter to start. Let's get a meter. And we're gonna check the filter too. Check those three, those two uh, heat strips with the wires. And then just try to not shock yourself and read me the amps. 17. Okay, check the yellow. Black. And then 17 as well. Okay. So basically when the defrost cycle goes on, those will act actuate or activate. Yep. So a homeowner's not getting air conditioning throughout their house when that's defrosting outside. This is the same year, 2015. Same. I'm sure it was the same install though. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great weekend. This is like a Friday, like you read about. So nice. I mean, I'll take the Christmas weather too, but I'll take this all day. All day, every day. All right, guys. Take care. Thanks again. Please like and subscribe. Take it easy.